Here are some Zairi fun facts. On May 17, 1997, the African country of Zairi became known as the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 1971, the country and even the huge Congo River were renamed Zairi by former President Sisako Mobutu. It's the 11th largest country in the world. It's the fourth most populated nation in Africa, and it's the largest city and the capital are the same, Kinshasa. Here are some places to visit in Congo. Kinshasa, Loya Yabunu, Mountain Gorilla National Park in Congo, and Nirangongo Volcano. Things to eat. Mombi, Chikwangu, Fufu, and Sakasaka. Saka. See you next time on our new series, Things You Have to Try Before You Die. More on Babel News next time. should be on the cob, but people are putting it in our cars. Part 4. Ethanol is one of the most unexpected developments of the ethanol stream. It is a loss of millions of acres of each, which we could have planted corn and soybeans. Scientists should keep working on a better fuel source while we keep corn on the cob. Malcolm X was a Muslim American human rights activist. He was born on May 19, 1925 in Omaha, Nebraska. He was born Malcolm Little, but then started signing his name as X to replace the ancestral slave name Little. Some of his relatives sadly passed when he was a child. His father was killed by a white supremacist and his mother was admitted into a mental ward. His uncle was lynched. Malcolm X spoke out against white supremacy and disenfranchisement of or the right to vote against African Americans. He was assassinated on February 21st, 1965. A biography was shortly written after his death. History of hello. The word hello, a word which no one realizes and it is used in many conversation and more is now being realized. The history of hello all started in 1827 from a man named Thomas Edison. He expressed his uh, surprise with the hello when mishearing the word hello. Alexander Graham Bell intentionally used the word ahoy as a greeting, but later Thomas Edison changed it to hello. He then urged people who used his phone to say hello when answering. One article states that there was a girl named Margaret Hello, and she was supposed to be the girlfriend of Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone. The Oxford English Dictionary says the first time Hello was published goes back in 1827. And it wasn't usually a greeting back then. Amon says that people in the 1830s said Hello was an attraction intention. Hello, what are you think you're doing? Or to express surprise, hello, what have we here? Hello didn't become high until the telephone was invented. Ahoy had been around longer, at least a hundred years longer than hello. It too was a greeting. It came from the Dutch word hoy, meaning hello. Bell, however, felt so strongly about ahoy, he used it for the rest of his life. That, that is the history, history of, of hello. hello.
status class with some tips on, on how to become a better student. Follow the rules. When we follow the rules, we show respect for the teacher, our fellow students, and most of all, ourselves. Respect is something we expect from others. And to get respect, you must give respect. We also must listen. We cannot understand our lessons unless we listen actively. Um, we also must be responsible. Our teachers work very hard for us, but they cannot do the work for us or learn our lessons. That is our responsibility. Last, we must, ha must have a good attitude. You are going to be in this group for most of the day. So you may as well enjoy it. In review, some tips to become a better student is follow the rules, respect yourself and others, listen act actively, be responsible, and to have a good attitude. Thank you for watching. Everybody say bye. 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 bye.